right, so today we are going to go through and replace the whole stator points and everything. It was really dirty last time I opened this thing up. So we're gonna give it a good clean and then go and replace everything. And then we'll see, we'll see we're looking at that. Expecting based on what I've seen in there that everything's quite a bit old, so probably worth replacing and cleaning up as it is anyways. flywheel removal tool which is going to be pretty neat Everything in here is getting replaced anyway, so I don't care. Spins in opposite. Oh, pretty gummed up. I'm guessing there's a little bit of an oil leak in here. I think the kit I bought came with a uh, a uh, seal, so I think we can probably fix that, hopefully. I am loving this ultrasonic cleaner. So we have to let it warm up a little bit. I'm gonna stick this in here anyways. Well, Just let it start cleaning. And then we'll just keep restarting it as it stops. Once it starts to get hotter, then it'll just we'll be good to go. Alright, so all of this needs to be taken out and just tossed. It all looks super dirty. All right, this stuff's looking pretty old. Pretty dirty. Oh, this one's grounded. Okay. Looks like that one's grounded too. All right. So it was grounded at least a little bit. Just 
gonna hose this thing down real quick. This is going to look so much better. This is going to look pretty amazing compared to what it used to. connected So let's get this guy soldered on here. Get it hot. All right, well, I think that's good. That was easy. So that should be good. So let's go check on the flywheel, see how clean that is. Get that sucker back on here and see how we're running. All right, so here's the flywheel. After a couple of sessions in the cleaner, looks good. So we're gonna put this guy back on. It's all magnetized. So I'm going to take this guy off. I have the wires routed up top, but I think that's getting in the way of the flywheel. So I think the wires need to go underneath for this thing to play good.
All right, so the points are supposed to be gapped. So I'm reading instructions. Points are supposed to be gapped to 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters with the T mark on the flywheel at top. All right, so. So we're at the T. So let's start with 0.3. Well, I can fit it in there. I don't know if that's considered a gap. All right, that's it. Let's take this sucker for a spin. So it's still running pretty crummy. Same thing it's been doing since the beginning. Um, low end seems fine. Revving it up, it likes to uh, uh, give out backfire pop. So I'm, I'm thinking that uh, the uh, carburetor isn't adjusted correctly. These uh, these circuits that I came, that came with it uh, didn't quite line up. I mean, this one this one doesn't even look like it's supposed to be in there. Um, that's just the, uh, the, uh, idle though. So I'm not sure if the circuits are correct. I mean, this thing could have been rebuilt a few times. I recycled, uh, the old jets that were in there, but I don't know if they're the correct ones, obviously. So I think, um, I might just upgrade to the Makuni 20 millimeter. It sounds like that's a good upgrade anyways. It does not cost very much. So I'm going to order up one of those guys, replace this, and then we'll see if that, I, I bet that's going to fix the problem. So uh, more to come.